<laughs> have a nice rain day, so dad over here decides to go shopping. He wants to get his pickup set up for when he's running around that he has tools with him all the time instead of the fuel trailer or the service trailer only having the tools. So we're cleaning the box off and gonna get everything he got here put into it and whatever else we have extra in the shop we're gonna throw on here too. Just main stuff we think we're gonna need. First we gotta get the tunnel cover taken off here so that's what dad's working on. Pretty neat little toolbox. Got all kinds of stuff in there now. A lot of the basic stuffs so we're also going to carry O-rings with because managed to blow a lot of those. We got the side toolbox all loaded up. We got a grease gun in here. Every kind of Milwaukee impact we got. I told you to buy saws up blades, Cameron. I did. This rain is awesome. If it was the end of June, July, and August, we're never going to get in the field. But at least we're getting some moisture. I can't complain. It's pretty ugly down that way. Let's go drive and see what we can find. How's this thing work again? Uh, you're gonna back into something for sure. Probably. I'm wearing Crocs. I'm wearing sandals. And shorts. I got pants. Are we seeing where our wardrobe's from too? I got this from Walmart and this from Shields and I probably got this from Amazon. Oh, yeah, we're fancy. Morning. Man, did we get rain. We probably got, I don't know, two, three inches. It's a little, little wet out. This is some sandy, sandy soil. I am gonna go start disking since I really got nothing else to do while it's so wet. This sand, I don't think it'll matter that it's wet. Plus I give it another hour or two. The time I get to the field, I think I'm gonna be fine. Can I go one day without having a flat tire? Flat tire on the disc again back there. I can never win, I'm waiting now. Help has arrived. Oh, I hope I can get this aired up, but I don't got a good feeling with all that mud. One, two. That didn't work, so I'm gonna try my next idea. Couldn't get it with the blaster, so I got my little friend here, brake cleaner. I think this should work. I hope. Okay. Well, that was easy. There, another flat tire full for now-ish. This little sucker's handy, but I just didn't quite have enough. I needed a little bit of an explosion. Let's get back to work. I got about 80 acres to disc with an 18 foot wide disc, so let's go. I believe I am done with the Wishick disc. I don't think there's anything left. I think all the sods broke. So tomorrow that's gonna get unhooked and hooked up to an air seeder. The day's about over, but I'm gonna go jump in the mini payloader and run up north. There's two rocks in a field that are, we've been farming over for many years and I'm just tired of doing it. So I got a little bit of an evening here. I'm gonna run up and I'm gonna grab them suckers. Dad's out here talking up the tracks. With brand new tracks, we'll see you gotta lubricate them like that. We're taking the 640 out today and they're putting it up against the 620, I guess you could say. It is broke down. We've been having a lot of issues with our older 620. We're gonna pull that away from the quick till and we're gonna hook this up and see how this pulls the quick till instead of that 620. Because it's relatively dryish and we gotta go. Because more rain's coming, we gotta do something. So I think we gotta put some depth in this thing. I'm guessing that's why he's parked here. Looks like we got nibbles last night. He doesn't look okay. Uh, everything in the yard here, all of our heavy soils are still very, very wet. But we have some sand. The stuff I was wishing disking last night. So Brandon's getting the planter out. He's gonna get that filled up and he's gonna go start planting that sand. That's why I gotta go get the quick till with the 640. And so I can stay ahead of him. I gotta get that sod chopped up so he can seed that. We gotta get this quick till unhooked, cause I need that. Like I said, I gotta bust that sod. This soil here is still muddy. This will not go yet. This tractor's broke down, so we're gonna end up hooking a chain to the back of this and pulling it back. The flux capacitors broke on it. One of the main power supply cables is corroded off. Yeah, it corroded and shorted out. It's not a very fun fix, and we're still waiting on part. Hopefully this gets done today though. But I need this quick till now. I'm gonna grab a chain that's laying in here.
And we're gonna try to drag the quick tail off that tractor because that one is dead in its tracks. Without any power, going to anything, it don't work. I hope this is strong enough. It's not the most ideal situation we got going on here, but it's what's gonna work today. With farming, you never know what you gotta try to pull. I can't get that pin pulled. I'm gonna grab a hammer, see if that'll do it. It's moving. Bingo. Okay, we're disconnected. That's working pretty smooth. Is he wanting to do tug of war? This quick tail is almost designed for me for when I get stuck. It's got a nice hydraulic jack so I can always unhook and just drag it out. First time out with the 640. It's brand new. Let's see what we can wreck in this new thing. It even still smells like new tractor. Okay, how do you drive it? Well, first I better figure out how to fold this. Well, I switched hydraulic seven and eight around and now it's working. Now we're getting it to fold. Yeah, it's a, a little soft here. This clumpy sod. We're a little stuck. That's not supposed to do that. I hope I can get it out. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to fold up so that way it doesn't drag like it is here and then get her to drive out. Okay, we're gonna give this a go. We're lifted up, we're not dragging. I hope it drives out now. It's working. I think we're out. There we go. Oh, for a moment I thought that was going to be really bad, but thankfully it drove out. I'm going to carve that little wet spot out there and hopefully not do that again. That is not what we want again. Man, did that just catch all that loose stuff and pile up quickly. Well, that was solved pretty easily again, but I'm making a mess, I don't like it. Okay, we got that low spot carved out. I think that's the only one in this field, so it shouldn't get stuck again. I think I'm just gonna leave that now. It's too wet. I don't wanna get stuck or break something or make my tractor muddier than it already is. So here's what we're doing out here. We are quick tilling up what we wishic disc yesterday and previous days. That wishic disc is a good heavy disc to rip through that sod, but it leaves it really, really lumpy. Like we use, there's no way you could seed into that. Now my first pass across it with this. I mean, look at that difference. I'm hitting it at a sharp angle. And it's just mulching it up, just destroying that sod. There's a few clumps left. But I mean, for the most part, that's gonna be really nice to plant into. I will end up hitting this with another pass, another different angle or a different direction. That quick tail is awesome. So is that tractor. Brandon, you can't park there. I know I can't. I know I'm slow and you gotta wait, but I don't think this is what you're supposed to be doing. Let's go see how bad he mudded it up. There's a little bit of mud in there. The wheels don't look so bad though. Ah, that's not so bad. I don't think we'll have to clean nothing out. Problem is he's just so heavy, he just got done filling and he just drug on my freshly tilled soil. And right there is where we got stuck earlier. And over there. Doesn't surprise me, but a little disappointed. I wish he would have just sent it harder. I don't know, what do you have to say for yourself? That's one for me. Well, I'm at two. Uh, more? Well, no, I forgot about the seven R. I'm at three. That's my first. Maybe don't get quite as close as I did. Stay away a half a cedar's worth. I don't see through here. Yeah, and then come along right up, right along your roots here, the fence line. I can try it. Send it harder. Harder. Need more tractor. Okay. 
If I had the RX, I wouldn't have been stuck there. He did it again. He's stuck again. Couldn't make it. He's not even here. He's over doing the walk of shame. How's your walk of shame going? Great. Do you want an RX yet? If it was going to be like this, yeah. And then we're going to be short tractor. Unless that thing's pulling the roller. I love the look of a freshly seated field. Them perfectly straight rollers are just so pretty. Round two of pulling the little fella out. He's a little more stuck this time. I'm actually spinning. Uh oh. Uh oh. Still spinning. When I was backing up, my quick tail went over, so I couldn't back up straight anymore. I gotta unhook and rehook back up. He's not out yet. As you can see back there, he's still dragging. See, our biggest issue is nothing's really stuck. It's just this loose material on top that's causing them tires to drag. They're just dragging all that, and the tractor just can't pull it through it. Just heavy and loose soil. I should be able to get them this time, though. Good. I hope we didn't mud nothing up. Since he's sinking so bad and dragging so much in the center here, what we're doing is turning the valve to put more pressure pressure on the weight, the frame weight distribution. So he's gonna try to push more weight on the wings out here and not have so much in the center. Maybe that'll help so he doesn't get stuck and he can make it. Well, now that I've been running it for a, a little while now, we got a few hours on it. We're up to 13 now. Going almost 10 miles an hour running full engine load that's all she's got but i'm kind of disking pretty heavy i'm going pretty far down with it and uh, this is some pretty soft soil what i like about it is with the old 620 shifting it is very 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 slow with this i am noticing that it is a little bit faster those of you that have run 9RXs before know that this it, the transmissions are just slow and very laggy, it seems like. I do think they have updated it with these new ones, though, the new 9Rs. It just, I don't know, maybe not, but it seems like it is going a little bit faster. It's still not as fast as what I think it should be, but it's definitely better. It pulls very well. I don't think I'd be able to do this with a 620. I do think I am getting a little bit more power out of it versus the 620. The cab, we got the Signature Series cab, is substantial substantially nicer. The air conditioning seats are definitely awesome. The massaging seats, which I have to turn back on because they just shut off, feel amazing. The Harley pegs down there, or whatever you want to call them, are super comfy. Yeah, not a whole lot different. This tractor does have the John Deere engine versus the Cummins. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Haven't gotten enough testing with it yet. So far, I like it. It's pulling. I haven't had a breakdown in my first 13.4 hours, so... I got nothing I don't like about this tractor so far. Brandon just pulled into my field here with the corn planter. She brought me supper again. I'm not staying ahead of them. I gotta drive faster. Problem is the tractor won't drive any faster. I love high speed discs. We're racing. I'm going 11 miles an hour and he's keeping up with me. I'm barely winning this race. That is just wild. And I guess he's doing a good job. Well, overall, today with the new tractor, there's not much difference in the 620s. The hoods are shaped a little different, so you got a little bit better visibility. I believe this corner post where the exhaust thing's a little different too, so there's a little better visibility there. One thing I like about it is the signature series cab that's on this thing. So nice, the air conditioning seats and a long day make it just spot on perfect. Makes that long day turn into just a little bit shorter. I really like how my fuel runs out before my death. This thing is not a diesel exhaust fluid hog like the 620s um i had the john deere the new john deere engine is really starting to grow on me i think i am a fan it pulls good 
But man, did we burn fuel today. The engine power load was maxed out pretty much all day long, going hard. But I got a lot tilled. I got all the sod all worked up. I had to hit most of it twice. And everything I got worked up, he's already got planted. I would say that this one does shift a little bit faster. Nothing crazy, but it still gets stuck. But I feel like every tractor is going to get stuck. It's late. I'm going to shut the door here and go to bed. Thanks for watching, guys.